Welcome to the old Lumens channel again. I've um, torn apart this unit to take a little look. There was concern about this, uh, the hot air system not being grounded. It's 110 and it should go to ground. Uh, I've traced down the, uh, the actual 110 cable into the inside the unit, okay? And what the 110 cable coming into the unit is grounded at the foot of the transformer, okay? Then ground wires go from that to the board, and I've traced down that that the actual um, hot air unit does have a ground wire coming from it straight to the board. This is the ground tab on the board right here. So everything 110 does have a ground. All right, I just wanted to... Uh, have people make sure that uh, if they have any question about it, it is it is grounded. Uh, this is the ground tab on the on the circuit board itself, and on that post and on that post, it has ground wires for that that go straight into the hot air unit. And I've looked in the in the unit itself uh, inside to ensure that the ground wire goes through to the heaters. So. Um, Hopefully that will alleviate some concern about the fact that it is grounded. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show real quick is um, the I took apart I took the tip or I took the, the uh, soldering iron apart so I could look at the tip. It's a hollow tip. It looks like uh, uh, similar to many others. The uh, if you see the heater is already discolored. The heater the tip just slides right on the heater, but there's play in there. So I have some high temperature compound uh, that I used to use in injection molding for uh, uh, for machine uh, the, on, the, on the barrels where the where the plastic was heated uh, upwards of five six hundred degrees. We uh, we use some compound on that uh, to when we change nozzles and to keep the bolts from uh, uh, you know to uh, keep the bolts to where you'd be able to take the bolts back out again. It's a lubricating compound, but it's very high temperature. Uh, so I'm going to use some of that on this tip because I don't like airspace. Uh, that should help that heater uh, last longer. Uh, if I could remember the name of the doggone stuff, hang on a minute. Boy, when you get old, you can't remember anything at all. Listen, this is the Loctite brand, but it's anti-seize compound is what it is. Um, so this is silver anti-seize. They make a copper anti-seize too, but I'll use the silver anti-seize. And you just put some on the heater itself and then put the tip back on, and that helps to displace all your air gap in there, make a better connection. Uh, okay, that's as far as I'm going to go as far as teardown. I, I, you know, I can't tell you a hell of a lot about the board because I'm just not an electronics guy, but I can, you know, uh, go down and, and make sure that, uh, that it is grounded. I can, I can find the ground circuit and trace it down, so I know that much. Um, inside uh, the housing is just a great big transformer, that's all it is, so... Uh, Anyways, I'm not going to tear apart the heater for the air gun either. I don't know what style heater would fit it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to tear it apart right now. I imagine that we probably can find a heater, uh, a replacement heater for it, uh, already on the T-Mart website. Um, and that's about all I got right at the moment. I think that that'll just about take care of it. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching.